Okay, and welcome back. So I'm going to talk to you about the parabola, and usually you can find this in the conic sections of your algebra textbook. And here's my lousy artwork, but you should get the idea. Anyway, the reason why it's called conic sections is because you're actually cutting a section um, of a cone. And this cone over here, as you can see, is actually a gray cone, and this white plane is slicing into it and it actually makes this parabolic shape right here and the outline from the surface area the outline from the surface area you're getting really is the uh, parabola okay so in this case here um, here's a parabola and this one is uh, the function of x squared and this one here is you know similar so that's what it is anyway the standard form of a parabola is this right here uh, ax squared plus bx plus c, where a and b are coefficients and c is a constant. So I'll give you an example like 2x squared plus 3x plus 4, or negative 10x squared plus 3x minus 7, you know. Um, so if a is greater than 0, meaning all numbers positive, then you'll have concavity up. So basically this is concave going up, okay, kind of like a concave lens, it's facing upward. And if a is less than zero, meaning if all values of a are negative, in that case here, if you have like negative x squared, or you have like a negative one here, or negative 10, then it's concave down, okay? In order to make a parabola, you need to know what the vertex formula is, and then follow these steps here. In the vertex formula, you may recognize x equal negative b over 2a from the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is x equal negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Um, yeah, I've said that way too many times. But anyway, it's the negative b over 2a part. Everything else you can exclude. So let me just read to you the steps and just kind of get these in your head. What you want to do is first use the vertex formula, which is here, to find the value of x of the vertex. So basically when you plug in your b um, and your a into this formula here, um, what it's going to give you is going to give you the value on the x-axis where the middle of the parabola is. In this case here, in both these cases, it turns out the y-axis is the uh, axis of symmetry. Um, what that means is that, let's say for instance, uh, here's, a, here's an x-y coordinate, and if I had a, par a parabola there, the axis of symmetry would be the middle point of the parabola. Well, it's not perfect there. Or let's say if it was over here, then it would be right there, right? And this is the vertex. Our first goal is to find out where that is. Anyway, so the best way to do this to kind of show you an example so let's uh, invent a problem and I'll show you how your teachers do it x minus 5 and x minus 1 and if you foil this out you'll get what do we got here x squared minus 6x plus 5 okay so this is the uh, equation we're gonna we're gonna use here okay so let's clear some space and I'll show you what to do Okay, so we want to use the vertex formula to find the x value of the vertex. All right, first of all, let's make a uh, x and y coordinate system here. So we could say that this is all equal to 0, and our a is going to be what? A positive 1, and our b here is going to be a negative 6. Okay. So in that case here, then we have x is equal to negative, negative 6, over 2 times 1. And this is x is equal to a positive 6 over 2, which is equal to 3. So that means that the middle of the vertex, the middle of the uh, parabola, uh, is going to be at 3. We just don't know what the point is, but we do know that this 3 here, so the equation of this right here would be x is equal to 3. Okay, so this is the axis of symmetry. And the equation for it is uh, x is equal to 3. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to plug that x into the original equation to get a y value. So 
we know the x is 3 we just need the y value so we can know where the where the point is cuz the parabola could be it could be here it could be down here it could be way up here we're not really sure so we need to find out where it's at so if we plug this 3 into this equation which we're going to do right now I'll go ahead and do this in green here so y is equal to x squared so that's going to be 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 5 so we're going to get 9 minus 18 plus 5 so y is equal to let me see what do we got here 9 and 5 14 and negative 18 so that's equal to negative 4 so y is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to 3 so that makes our point so we're going to write here vertex at 3 comma negative 4 so that's going to be over here let me write this in 1 2 3 4 so here's our point 3 negative 4 okay that's 3 negative 4 and this is going to be our vertex all right great so now what we want to do is um, we plot the point we just found okay that's our vertex okay good so now get two values of x to the left and right of the vertex so basically you know with four new numbers okay what that's saying is this we know the vertex is here, so we need to plot a point on this side, plot one over here, one over here, and one over here. So that way we could see where the next dot will be. Let's pretend it was over here somewhere, so then the line would go this way. Then the next dot's over here, so then it would just go up, right? So we need to find out what they are. What we're going to do is look at these x values and plug these x's to find out where the y value is at so we get the point, okay? So in this case here, we'll have an x here and an x here. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 to the left, 2 to the right, 1, 2, 4, and 5. Okay, so we're going to do if x, and I'll do these in blue. So we're going to do x is equal to, let's try 2. If x is equal to 2, then we get y is equal to, let's see, 2 squared minus 6 times 2 plus 5 so that's going to be y is equal to 4 minus 12 plus 5 y is equal to negative 3 okay great so x is 2 y negative 3 so that gives us the point 2 comma negative 3 now if x is equal to what do we have here 1 1 okay so then we have y is equal to um, 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 5 so that's y is equal to 1 minus 6 plus 5 5 and 1 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 so that's equal to 0 okay so that's going to be the point 1 comma 0 okay so let's plot these two points right now we have 2 negative 3 so 2 1 2 3 negative 3 so that's going to be right here so this is the point 2, negative 3. And then we have 1, comma 0. So 1, 0 would be right here. So that's going to be 1, 0. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to plot 4 and 5. So let me clear some space here and do that. Okay, so if x is equal to, let's do 4 first, 4 then y is equal to 4 squared minus 6 times 4 plus 5 so that's going to be y is equal to 16 minus 24 plus 5 so y is equal to negative 3 so that's going to give us the point 4 negative 3 and it should be symmetrical to this point here so we're going to get the point 4 comma negative 3 so this is going to be 4 negative 3 so that's going to be 4 negative 3 okay so the last one's going to be if x is equal to 5 then y is equal to what do we have here uh, 5 squared minus 6 times 5 
plus 5. So that's going to be y is equal to 25 minus 30 plus 5. So that's going to be y is equal to 0. So that's giving us the point 5 comma 0. Okay, great. So here it is, 5 comma 0, 5 comma 0. And that's the point 5 comma 0. So now it says that plug those four x's in the original equation that go over corresponding y's. We did that. Now plot the four new points and connect all the dots. Well, here are the four new points, the blue ones. So now what we want to do is test out my artistic skills here and go ahead and plot the dots. And I'll go ahead and put them in red. And that's it. And you're done. So that pretty much covers everything you need to know about um, the parabola. And um, just make sure you use these steps here. And um, anyway, good luck with your homework and tests in the future. And thank you for watching.